Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. I had an accent there. Okay. Okay, 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 don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc and press and hold A. Hmm, your energy's a little low. I'll fill it up for you. I shouldn't have read that. I'm not supposed to. Nice going. You've learned all the codes you moves. Thank you for telling me everything. Go on this one for a mumbo token. Make sure you grab that. You can't even see that still. So there's two ways to do this. You can either jump on it like this. And, uh, have to do it again to get used to those, obviously. But there's another way I like to do it. This is a little more entertaining. You jump down here, like that, and you can do that. That's how you can reach higher heights with these platforms, these pads, whatever you call them. And it does work. I remember I used to, like, jump like that, and I'd hold it for a little bit. And then she. I, I never figured out how these things work. I didn't know you could do this. It took me forever to figure out you could actually do high jumps like that. So we're not done here yet. Uh, you might be wondering what the other path of shock spring pads was for. I don't like saying that. Kind of bothers me a little bit. It's a weird word. It's weird to say. Weird to say. Up here is a better Jinjo for our collection. Yeah. So we're gonna kill you. You're a crab. That's cool. Grab these musical notes carefully. If you miss these musical notes, don't come back up here. Um, I will show you later what we're supposed to do if you miss them here. Just don't worry about them yet. Uh, but your, remember your notes hold because the mind you gotta use your subtraction skills. Your subtraction skills. Oh, you know what? While we're up here, I'm gonna get this guy out of the way. Uh, this is me leaky. No good for water. Can bear block hole with blue pebble? No, but I can block hole with two eggs. Yiki patched up. That would be water for bear. That does not make any sense. Okay, I'll accept it. So Yiki is one of the few characters in this game that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand how eggs will fill up. You know what? This whole game's like that. I guess he. Yeah, whatever. So grab all these musical notes. And this is another like place I like to go to a lot in this game. This is one of the little areas I like. I like walking over these alcoves. That's a fun word to say. Say that to yourself right now. Say alcove. Yeah, that's a fun word to say, isn't it? If you didn't say it, you're probably just an old person. There's eggs in that one. We need eggs. I don't need them. So I'm just gonna go up anyways. This guy right here, he's hiding a mumbo token underneath. Right here, he's smuggling mumbo tokens. Smuggling mumbo tokens! That was weird. I don't know why I screamed that for. So, this level, there's ten, I believe. But if there's more, I am wrong. If you didn't know what that means. Okay, so, I believe it's like 10 or 5 per level, occasionally 15. Oh crap, 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 oh what the hell? If you go down here, don't fight me, don't fight me. Yeah, you dick. Mmm, lovely. Grab a hollow honeycomb down here. If you haven't grabbed it, uh, there's a part later in the game where you'll be able to swim around here and grab it. So I'll show that as well. If you don't feel like grabbing it right now, and you're going to get hurt trying to grab that just if you want to know. It's pretty hard to do it without getting hurt. But it is possible. It is very possible. But I've never seen it. Everyone gets hurt by him. Hello, Mr. Crab. Three notes. Perfect. That's what we need. Yeah, musical notes. Don't delay the number, but we're wrapping them. Oh my god, I hope I get this level done in like two episodes, because that way I can move on to my next level in one recording. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. But then I have to get that level done in 30 minutes, and I could not do that. So you know what? I'm just going to record this, and I'll record the rest tomorrow. Because you know, I'll get four episodes a day. The, the old schedule that you guys think is old. I think it's new. Because I'm still uploading Conquer and Mario by the time this is up, so... Or by the time this is up, it'll be up, but... This will be up in like a week, like a few weeks from now, actually. I guess it'll be up in like two or three weeks from today, so... Uh, yeah, when I was recording this, I was just finishing up my upload to Conquer and Mario. Uh, it was... It was... Uh... I don't know when this is gonna be up. It was the middle of May, I think it was like the 20-something, 30th... I don't 
know. I'm not a date expert. There's two mumbo tokens in there. That is the most useful mumbo token thing right there in the game. If you need some really, really, really bad, that's where you go. But if you're using this guy, you're gonna get them all, so you don't need to worry about where they're at. But then again, that one, you're gonna get that anyways, so. Oh, shit. Don't worry, this one right here is jump on a bull. I don't know why Snacker took him out. There you are! Found him! Found ya! So we're gonna jump over the platform. Well, platforming skills, if I do say so myself. And insert CSI Miami theme right there and awesome sunglasses. So, grab that jiggy. And if you haven't yet, um, grab the hollow honeycomb, which is around the corner there, out in the water. You'll see it if you keep going. But I'm going to go back because I already got it. Uh, but naturally, I would go over to Nipper to go over to the part with Captain Blubber. And so I'm going to go over to Captain Blubber right now. So we can kind of make up for that. And uh, actually, well, you know what? I'm not going to go to Captain Blubber. I'm going to go over to where we got the musical notes for those two black cups. Or the, yeah, these two black cups. There are two, but one has the. Whatever. I'm going to go over here. So you guys watching the video, you can see where I'm going. And a little thing I learned through this game is one of the hardest hollow honeycombs to get is just because of where it's placed, just out in the open, really far away from this level. But I've learned a secret. Between these two palm trees, just go straight between them, and it appears. Is that a miracle? Yeah, that was not in any guides or anything. I just went on this platform here, looked to see if there's any kind of clue to where it is. Uh, oh, shit, shit, shit. He got glitched! Yes! Okay, whatever. Well, I went over here, and I kind of looked, and I saw those two palm trees, and I was like, Oh, bitch, there's palm trees there! What the fuck are they doing there? And then I learned those palm trees will lead you to where you're supposed to go. So, if you get lost, follow the palm trees, they'll tell you where to go. You know, you know, we should replace all those, like, service things in malls and all that and tell you where to go. We should replace those all with palm trees. And get all the people out of there. Palm trees know a sense of direction ten times better than we do, that's for sure. They know it's land by heart. We made the location of the hollow honeycomb at least. So we're gonna go in here. This is a little this area actually has a big impact in this game if you like to put cheat codes in, you little cheaters. Hey Ferba, you can guys solve my puzzles and give me the prize. You like popsicles? So what you wanna do? You wanna spell banjo kazooie. There are three places you can look to find out where the word banjo how to spell banjo kazooie. You can look at your game cartridge. You can look at the wall right there, and you can look at the title of this video. If none of those work, you are an idiot. Alright, let's go. I, uh, I still have idiotic fans, do I? And again, you can just follow my pattern here. Uh, it's, you gotta get it in 100 seconds, but it's, it's no challenge at all. At all. At all. Okay, screw it. So when you spell Banjo-Kazooie, where are you at? Oh. Oh. Oh! There you are. Don't get one wrong. The gate opens to reveal your prize. But first, I'll cut you guys with the eyes. That's so scary. Possibly pedophilic. So there you go. It's as easy as that. You can also use ground pounds. I don't like those. Eight jiggies. Ooh. So we might get leveled on three episodes. Maybe that's so the next episode of Banjo Kazooie. I will finish this level up and we will explore Grunty's Lair a little more, maybe.